the Media Development Authority of Wednesday, September 10th, decided that local film director Tan Pinpin's work to Singapore, with love, will be classified as not allowed for all ratings. In its statement on Wednesday, September 10th, MDA said it had assessed the contents of the film, and decided that it undermined national security. It added that legitimate actions taken by security agencies to protect the national security and stability of Singapore are distorted as acts that victimize innocent individuals. The individuals in the film have given distorted and untruthful accounts of how they came to leave Singapore and remain outside Singapore, the MD has stated. A number of these self-professed exiles were members of, or had provided support to, the proscribed Communist Party of Malaya CPM. The documentary depicted Singaporeans who were self-declared cadres of CPM, with some in exile for as long as 50 years. Miss Tan sought to show how they have lived their lives away and how they still viewed Singapore, according to the film's website. Those featured in the film are, Sihit Zahari, Tan Kok Fang, Tan Wapio, Chan Sun Wing, Wang Soon Fung, Eugene alias Lim Kim Chuan, Shu Shihu alias So Sehua, Tan He Kim, Yap Wan Ping. The National University of Singapore and U.S. Museum had submitted the film to MDF for classification. It was planning to screen the film with Miss Tan's Invisible City 2007 and Singapore Gaga 2005 at the end of September. Under the film classification guidelines, films that are assessed to undermine national security will be given an NR rating. This means the film is not for exhibition or distribution in Singapore. Commenting on MDF's ruling, Minister for Communications and Information Yalka Abdrahim said he had read the reasons for the decision and agree and support their assessment. The individuals in the film have given distorted and untruthful accounts of how they left Singapore and claimed that they were unfairly denied their right to return to Singapore, said Dr. Yaqub. The truth of the matter was that many of them, by their own admission, were members or supporters of the Communist Party of Malaya which sought to overthrow the legitimate elected governments of Singapore and Malaysia through armed struggle and subversion, and replace them with a communist regime, he added. The minister said it is not surprising that ex-CPM members and sympathizers wish now to give their own accounts of historical episodes they were involved in. But individuals who have chosen to leave and remain outside Singapore, and refuse to account for their past actions, should not enjoy a public platform to purvey distorted and untruthful accounts to mislead the public, absolve themselves or deny their past actions, Dr. Yalkov stated. For ex-CPM members and supporters who have returned to Singapore, acknowledged their actions and renounced communism and violence, they and their families continue to live here and contribute to building Singapore, he added. In a Facebook statement, Miss Tan said she was very disappointed by the MDA decision and stated that she may resubmit the film for a rating in the future. She also described the focus of the documentary as being about the everyday lives of the exiles she featured. These exiles all have different ideological positions and are of different ages. Some are communists, others are activists from the Christian left, yet others are socialist politicians or former student activists. But their feelings for Singapore are intense and heartfelt, albeit sometimes ambivalent, even after so long away. She said she feels many viewers might be able to relate to those feelings. Miss Tan said she had hoped the film would open up a national conversation to allow Singaporeans to understand ourselves as a nation better. It is vital for us to have that conversation on our own terms, especially on the eve of our 50th birthday. On Wednesday evening. 38 members of the filmmaking and arts community sent a joint statement, expressing deep disappointment in MDA's decision not to allow public broadcast of the film. The group includes directors Anthony Chen, Bu Jun Feng and Roy Sun Tan, as well as notable figures in the arts community such as Ivan Heng, former nominated member of Parliament Janice Ko, T. Sessa Theron and Alvin Tan. They suggested that the authorities, which had described the accounts given by the film's subjects as distorted and untruthful, released their own version of the events in question. They also noted that to Singapore, with love has won multiple awards all over the world, and received high praise from filmmakers and critics. They said MD's latest move would reinforce the view that the government is trying to limit discussion on Singapore's history, and urge the authority to reconsider. Speaking to Channel News Asia, Dr. Carol Soon, Research Fellow at the Institute of Policy Studies, 
suggested, what the authorities could have done is to make use of the opportunity to, say, dispute their accounts and educate the public.